These hoes is broke, man. Ooh. I know y'all hoes broke. Y'all can't hide that shit. I be looking at y'all bitches feet and shit. I look at y'all bitches shoes. I be looking at you bitches nails and shit. I know you hoes broke. Outside somewhere, I just ain't know where to look. Bruh. I knew y'all bitches was outside. Don't tell me, like, nigga, them hoes broke. I'm like, how them hoes broke? They got pussies. Broke ass bitch, you can never have my child. Trying to take the rubber off my fucking dick, you so foul. I just want some head, and then I gotta kick you out. There's no way out of this. Today we have an interesting video about Pablo Skywalking. Here are the four things we'll be talking about in this video. Who is Pablo? His music? Growth? Why he hates broke females? But first, who is Pablo Skywalking? Pablo Skywalking is a rapper born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. Aside from Pablo Skywalking's music career, he is a motivational speaker who talks about his experience being a rapper from Detroit and all the pros and cons which came from his flashy lifestyle. You don't wear jewelry no more? No, I don't care about none of that shit because, I, man, my life crazy, bro. It's a lot of shit I ain't gonna say, but money ain't shit to me, bro. I know how to get money. And shit, I'ma buy shit, but I'ma buy shit for everybody around me, not just myself. Because I had changed since 2016 from Golden Sun, the best jeweler in Michigan. Like, everything real, best diamonds, best all that shit. I've been on that shit a long time ago. He has been featured in two XXL Mag articles about his Flex On Him song remix with Lil Yachty and his beef with other popular Detroit rapper Rokane. He also had beef in the past with Band Gang, The Hip Hop Lab, and Shitty Boys. The beef with Shitty Boys came from being overlooked and not posted on the Hip Hop Lab's page. I would say the reason for this is Pablo had a platform, but I believe it was a marketing stunt. It dropped in 2019 and he blew up in 2014. Say Pablo already had a platform. Here's the song. <laughs> Fuck a band though, you lucky you a cameraman, cause my niggas let things go. Try to hit him in the shitty boys, cause ain't no aim on. Brother cock that bitch back, he shooting like his aim gone. Fuck a band gang too. Y'all niggas been rap for years. Manager got more ice than you. I'm in fucking tears. Shitty Boys never responded to these claims, but people had this to say. Pablo has been beefing with band gangs since they was in high school. I'm 21 now. That's crazy. Uh? Pablo Skywalker is best known for songs like... A lot of niggas can't stand me, always talking cash shit. Better stop mugging, better come and get your bitch. Cause she been staring at me since I hop about the whip. This is a great example showing the type of music Pablo Skywalker makes and his accumulation of views he was getting throughout those times. The reason Pablo will be considered a legend in Detroit is because he played a significant role in Detroit music from style, flow, and influence. He also was the first rapper that bridges the gap making music with Oakland, California rappers all the way from Detroit. His wordplay and bars on songs that were dropped throughout 2013 to 2016 made him stand out from any other upcoming rapper from Detroit. He was able to create his own lane. We're not going to get into groups, but we know the groups that were popping throughout this time. Pablo Skywalker has such a unique style from things like his designer clothes, the woman he rapped about, and simple things like his hair gave him flexing rights. He was in Detroit in 2014 rapping about, about Balenciagas, Cartier glasses. He was for sure big hip before a lot of people caught on. He even had his own phrase, nappy fro and bank rolls. It came to a point people were biting his style so much in 2014, he made a song called Act Like Me in 2014. 
I'm so sick of all these motherfucking pop-ups. Get the fuck off my dick, that's what your bitch fault. Dice guy, guy better hundred on the tip fault. And your money short, my money longer than a limo. Pablo does a great job of explaining his style of music and the type of person he was during this time. You were afraid to be yourself. Yeah. You're from the hood, but you're not a hood nigga. Nah, far from a hood nigga, because hood niggas go to jail and hell. I like hoes, I like bitches, I like money. I like flashy shit. Even when I was making all my music, it was always flashy shit, always nice clothes, always giving off a nice image. But sometimes you got to do hood shit. And sometimes you become a product in your environment. So it's like, I wasn't gonna let nobody play me because I'm not no hoe or nothing. And I ain't the toughest nigga, but it's just, I'm big on respect and shit. And I never let a motherfucker belittle me, try to bully me or do certain shit. So I had to stand on business. Let's listen to some of my personal favorite best versus songs from Pablo Skywalking. Head on the phone, call that FaceTime. Niggas talking about they fuck my bitch, but you can't take mine. I'm so sick of broke niggas talking bullshit. We the ones throwing up the L's, you took the lost quick. Damn! Ain't no fucking dentist in this bitch, but we be flossing. We the bosses, all the niggas under boss dick. And hit the wall any day, don't care what it's costing. Shit, we ain't getting money, little nigga, you a freshman. If wife was the army, I'm a motherfucking veteran. Be the nigga ass like it's motherfucking tacking. My favorite auntie was a crackhead. That shit hurt my soul, so I stack bread. All black whip, I'm like Batman. I heard that I was broke, what the fuck you mean? Must have saw that in his dream, call him Dr. T. Walked in the mall, I like, damn, back again. All I did was laugh and say, shit, I get it in. Everything foreign bitches thought I lived in France. All these bands on me, it be fucking up my stance. These were my personal favorite songs from Pablo Skywalking. The music he's making now in 2022 is kind of different. Let me just let you listen. And I wish that I could sing. It's 2:30 in the morning, and I wish that I could sing. If I ever say I like it, know that's something that I mean. Probation start next week. I can't even sit no lean. My nigga on the news, but I thought that was a dream. Eric like it keep a bean. I'm so sorry that I'm mean. Yeah, if he sings, he should just do this type of flow. I might take you on a shopping spree, but you gotta be one time in the shower. Mr. Prince, in the shower with me. Since you gotta be one thousand just to count for me. Since you gotta be one thousand just to hang with me. That's the reason I get so fucking high. Think about my dog every time I look at the sky. Why? Why? I just wonder why. Why I lost my daddy to the feds and why my mama. Baby, welcome to this party. I love your bestie because you deserve it all when you young and you flexy. Girl, take it all off. Walk around her sexy. I'ma fuck you good, girl, but you can't arrest me. Pablo Skywalker says he's interested in music. He just doesn't like the energy and the image that comes from it. I think it's fucked up right now. That's why I don't even like making music because I don't even like being around them type of motherfuckers. I don't want to be around a nigga with a hundred niggas with guns. I'd rather be around a hundred bitches. Hmm. Some of these niggas act like they don't like bitches. They just want to hang with niggas, hang with guns, and pop perks. That shit not cool. Who the fuck want to be high with niggas all day? If I get high, I want to be high around hoes. This clip actually went viral on his Instagram. It was posted by a bunch of different rappers. Growth music wise, he fell off, but with good reason. He has been working on himself within. Sun gazing, gays are gays are in the building. Nature is in the building. Gays are gays are in the building. Spiritual growth within has been helping him spread all this wisdom on his podcasts and interviews. I don't know what the fuck to do in life. I don't, sometimes I feel like I don't even know my true purpose in life. Like I don't have it all. I don't know it all. We don't, nobody knows it all. Nobody knows why the fuck we on earth. But every day I'm gonna try to build towards something. Every day I'm gonna try to do something positive. Every day I'm gonna try to do something great. So that's all we can do. We can't give up. We can't quit. We can't look back. You gotta keep going forward. Cause once you look back, you slip up. You can't look at your old friends. You can't look at your old relationships. You gotta just continue to try to grow as best as you can. Cause in this journey and in this growth journey, like this shit lonely. When you try to change, everybody gonna think you fucked up in the head. You can see that he's been going through a lot and has been venting to a lot of people about his experience and just his lifestyle in general. You gotta give him his props. He's very transparent on these things and all the stuff that he expresses. 
just to be clear pablo skywalker was hot around this time 2013 all the way to 2016. So he has a big catalog of some classic songs people grew up listening to pablo is still focusing on music and creating a new flow of his own rap style this is a new song that Pablo dropped. I, mean, I ain't even <laughs> one shopping. She like, damn, I love your fast. Bangle was so fucking strong. I ain't smoking. I just passed. A lot of niggas, they be tough till they turn into some ass. Three. This song is smooth in my opinion. But y'all let me know in the comments of y'all thoughts about this song. He has more turned into a motivational speaker on Instagram, which has been doing great for him on Instagram Reels. Just look at the numbers. He turned into a more spiritual aware individual, but doesn't hold back when it comes to broke hoes, he says. Why does Pablo Skywalking hate broke females? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, it's to the point like a lot of girls, not even girls, but a lot of women nowadays, not majority though, but a lot of women I've been encountering, it's like they ain't got no money. Every time I look up, they want you to take them out, they want you to buy them something, they want something from you. It's to the point like, where is the women at that's gonna help the man? Where is the women at that's gonna be 50 50 or be a honey? Like, as a man, we need support. We outside, we thugging, we do a lot. So, all y'all girls that need something, go get a job, go do something productive. But we can't sponsor y'all, we can't take care of nobody. We trying to take care of ourselves. So, if you a girl that needs some money or ain't got none, don't hit me up and stay away from me. I don't know how to feel about these claims he is making. But I can say people are agreeing because the new generation of females are on a different level now. Some though, not all. I would say it just depends on the type of female you attract because there's a lot of different types of women with a different, with a lot of different tastes and things they're interested in. But hey, Juice World might be right. A lot of people can relate to what he's saying though and the things he is talking about got his supporters very interested and entertained. You guys let me know how you personally feel in the comments. I want to see how y'all feel about these clips and how the things that he's saying is agreeable, deniable. And if we got any women watchers, let me know how y'all feel in the comments about what he's saying. If you guys enjoyed the video today, let me know in the comments what you guys would want to see next. Thanks for all the support recently, Dex Clan. And I'm 